Today we will experience the essence of the place from stunning viewpoints. We will visit the largest, oldest and a very popular monastery called Ki Monastery amongst the travellers. On the way, we see Kibar that had the distinction of world's highest village with motorable road in the past. And finally, we reach the highest suspension Chicham Bridge in Asia. We will view the scenic Himalayan range and its snow-capped peaks in all their glory. Indulge in local cuisines. and refresh ourselves in the natural beauty of this. This is the day 8 of our journey. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please do so now. This is Rakesh Jain and welcome to my channel. We are having the uh, uh, special uh, breakfast, I should say and uh, let me show you what the breakfast is it's a quite uh, thick bread but it is very soft and uh, served with uh, potato and uh, in the local language uh, this is also called as a spitty bread or uh, baturu or they even call it as a tiri uh, you must taste it it is uh, really nice i should say Always my favorite, the tandoor that keeps us warm in this room. Breakfast is done and from Kaza we are heading toward the Ki Monastery, Kibar village. And then Sachicham Bridge, the Ki Monastery is the Asia's largest and the oldest monastery here in Spiti Valley. Chicham Bridge is the Asia's tallest suspension bridge. Yesterday we covered uh, three points and today also we will be covering three points. These three points and uh, the yesterday's three points actually can be covered in a single day also but we decided to stay here in Kaza for a day more and then decided you know to go in a, a little uh, slow way and then uh, you know just uh, enjoy this uh, stay here in uh, Kaza and uh, as you can see even in the month of April it's pretty cold out here uh, even at around uh, 9 40 a.m. in the morning and as the evening approaches it becomes really really very cold as you can see, I'm still wearing a three-layered uh, clothing, a t-shirt and then on the top of that a t-shirt and then a fleece. But make sure you equip yourself with the proper uh, winter clothing whenever you're uh, here in Spiti. I'm sure this will be also a kind of a uh, journey which you will never forget. Please stay tuned with me. I am quite excited today as we begin our journey. We are now heading towards Key Monastery, Kibar and then we will visit the Chicham Bridge. See how beautiful that village looks from here. The charm of Spiti Valley lies in its quaint villages. You will be tempted to take frequent breaks here. See how beautiful the Key Monastery looks on top of that mountain. Indeed amazing. The village on the way to the Key Monastery looks so beautiful that you will fall in love with this place. The monastery is a 3 km uphill climb from the village. You can either hire a taxi, rent a bike from Gaza or tag along with someone. It is very unusual to see Gurjit Bhai driving the vehicle so fast today. I am surprised to see this. Another gate we see, we need to head in the direction of this gate. There are a lot of tourists visiting this place as you can see. Key Monastery is located just 12 kilometers away from the bustling town of Kaza. The small village houses around 70 plus families who mainly depend on agriculture for survival. The key village is situated between Kaza and Kibar and on the banks of the Spiti river. The monastery as you can see is constructed on a conical shaped hill, possibly on an extinct volcano. It was devastated several times in petty wars between Kullu and Ladakh and particularly during the Dogra war in 1841. 
it was also attacked by the Sikh army and its old books and statues were destroyed. An earthquake in 1975 caused further damage after which Archaeological Survey of India took steps to repair the monastery. Hence, the outfit of this key monastery seems rather modern today and looks like a fort. This is the parking area. We need to walk from here. On the entrance, you see the rich history about the key monastery. Some of it I have already mentioned to you and the rest we will cover as we proceed. So please stay tuned with me. Once you read a little bit of history about the place, a sense of pride develops as to what a rich history that place has that you will be seeing soon. As you walk up, this is the view. The key monastery is a Tibetan Buddhist monastery and is one of the oldest monasteries in the Spiti Valley. It is located at an altitude of 13,670 feet above the sea level. It is a home to around 350 plus lamas. We are finally at the key monastery. Key monastery was built by Trompton, the founder of Gelukpa sect in the 11th century. That's the Spiti River. We leave the footwear outside and enter now. It was a different excitement as we entered through this passage. Maybe the joy of seeing the biggest and the oldest monastery in the Spiti Valley. It is a three-story building as you can see. The first one is mainly underground and used for storage. Ground floor is used as assembly hall called Dukang. This is the view around the monastery before we enter. It was nice to see so many lamas with their smiling faces. Wow, now when you enter, you get that feeling that yes, we are entering one of the oldest monastery from here. Let me climb up the stairs. As you can see, the photography is not allowed. We were restricted to film only through these staircases. Finally, we are at the top and we see the Lama serving the visitors a hot cup of tea. What a wonderful gesture. In this cold weather, you will certainly want to have this hot tea. In that central, in the 9th century, 10th and 11th century, there are many attacks on one another. So, there was also an attack here, the Mongols. After the history of the temple, it was built on the temple in the 14th century. As you can see, there are many scriptures that you can see, and the paintings of the temple are the same. Like our renovation, which is the same thing, it's not in the temple. It's not in the temple, it's not in the temple. It's not in the temple, it's not in the temple. हिमाचल प्रदेश में या ये पूरे भारत का सबसे बड़ा मनस्ट्री है पॉपुलेशन के हिसाब से देखा जाए तो बहुत सारी यूनिवर्सिटीज है मंदिर है जो की कर्नाटक में बन चुके हैं बहुत वहाँ पर हजारों की तादाद में भिक्षुस होते हैं तीन हजार चार हजार भिक्षुस होते हैं पर ये इस मंदिर को हम प्राचीन मंदिर बोल सकते हैं बिल्कुल लॉर्ड्स ऑफ अर्जेंस सांबो महान अनुवादक अच्छा तो उनके जब वो छठवें आवतार में थे तो उन्होंने ऐसे 108 मंदिर का निर्माण एक साथ किया वो सारे उसी दौर की ही हैं और बिल्डिंग थोड़ा बाद में बन गया डिस्ट्रॉय होने के बाद इस वजह से है ना और यहाँ पे अभी कितने लामाज हैं पूरे इंडिया में अगर अगर गिनती अगर अने ये बहुत कठिन प्रश्न भी है लेकिन एक अंदाज के तौर पे सच में है इंडिया में जब जो इंडिया की ये जो बिक्षु है वो अगर हम बात की पंद्रह हजार या बीस हजार के अंतराल में होना चाहिए, जो कि बदाक हो गए, स्पीति हो गए, लाहौल हो गए, किनोर हो गए, और नाचल ये सारे मिलाते हैं, तो इससे भी ज़्यादा भी हो सकता है, क्योंकि तीन बड़े यूनिवर्सिटी हैं सारे कर्नाटक में, उन तीनों में बरपूर बड़े हुए हैं। लेकिन सेंटर पॉइंट ऑफ और गोंडपा गुरुकुल 
उस वक्त है ना काफ़ी बार हम देखते हैं कि छोटे छोटे बच्चे उनको भी इन्हें लामा का ड्रेस पहनते हैं तो इसका मतलब है वो भी लामा बन गए हैं या मतलब मतलब वो उसका सिलेक्शन प्रोसेस कैसे हो गया बिल्कुल अभी बहुत छोटा उम्र का हो गया उसको दुनिया भी नहीं देखा है बिल्कुल तो कैसे डिसाइड होता है कि ये लामा बनेगा नहीं बनेगा इसके दो पहलू हैं अगर घर में दो लड़के होते हैं बड़ा एक छोटा हाँ। है ना बड़ा जो है वो घर घर से संभालेंगे हाँ। और सेकंड वाला जो भिक्षु बनेंगे ये तय था अच्छा। ये उस दौर के एक नियम था वहाँ पे हाँ बिल्कुल उन्होंने सोच समझ के ये नियम बना था अभी कोई किसी को ये लगता है कि बिल्कुल थोपा गया है है ना ऐसा बिल्कुल नहीं है क्योंकि उनको भी डर था कि हाँ एक दिन ऐसा भी आएगा कि जो हमारे संस्कृति और सभ्यता जो है वो लुप्त होने की लुप्त तो होंगे जो आज के जमाने में हम देख सकते हैं बिल्कुल देख सकते हैं उस वजह से उन्होंने ऐसा एक माइंड सेट करके बनाया हुआ था पर आज के युग में ऐसा बिल्कुल नहीं है तो मैट्रिक तक यहाँ पढ़ेंगे वो लोग क्योंकि जब हम गाँव में पढ़ते हैं तो देखो ना फैमिली के साथ फिर पढ़ाई इतना अच्छे से नहीं हो पाते क्योंकि घर का माहौल कुछ अलग ही होता है तो यहाँ पर सिर्फ पढ़ाई में ही ध्यान देना होता है बाकी सब यहाँ पर मंदिर के थ्रू खाना जैसे खिलाना कपड़े धुलवाना तो सारी यहीं से हो जाते हैं तो इस वजह से जो यहाँ विलेजर्स है वो यहीं बेचते हैं है ना तो बच्चे उसके बाद मैट्रिक के बाद फिर लगभग तेरह या चौदह साल तक पहुँच जाएंगे फिर वो खुद सैर करेंगे कि उसको जो मॉडर्न एजुकेशन है उसके थ्रू आगे जाना चाहिए या पुलिस में ज़्यादा इंटरेस्ट लेना चाहिए तो वो खुद दे करके फिर उसके बाद दीक्षा लेते हैं है ना हर लाल कपड़े पहनने वाला मंग नहीं होता है ओके है ना दीक्षा लेंगे ना अच्छा भी बनते हैं मंग और दीक्षा एक्चुअल लेने का जो ईयर है वो थर्टीन ईयर से स्टार्ट होते हैं अच्छा 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 तो अभी हम जैसे कुछ ड्रेस कोड होता है कि ये मंक है जो दीक्षा ले चुका है और ये मंक है जो दीक्षा नहीं लिया है ऐसा कुछ डिफरेंस बिल्कुल देखो ना हम तेरह साल की उम्र के बाद कोई बच्चा अगर ड्रेस पहना होगा तो उन्होंने दीक्षा ले चुका है ये कन्फर्म है अब छोटे छोटे बच्चे जो है ना चार पाँच छः साल के भी वो भी पहने हुए हैं तो वो दीक्षा ली ली अभी पर वो पहनते हैं क्योंकि सब उनको भी अच्छा लगता है क्योंकि मंदिर में पढ़ रहे हैं तो यहाँ खाना खाने यहाँ आ रहे हैं तो इसीलिए वो पढ़ पहन लेते हैं स्क्रिप्ट टेक्स तो बहुत होते हैं जैसे हमारे उसमें कंजूर के एक सौ आठ वॉल्यूम तंजूर के दो सौ वॉल्यूम जो कि तंत्र यानों के ऊपर आधारित है हमारा जो पहला जो सर नेम बोलते हैं ना जो पहला नाम वो जब हम जिस जिस पुलिस से हम दीक्षा लेते हैं उनका पहला नाम हमें मिलता है नाम पहले हुआ करता था कल जंग रबी है ना अभी हम केयर संग रबी पुकारते हैं क्योंकि हमारे जो गुरु जी है अच्छा जिन से हम उनका नाम हमें मिलता है जिनसे हम दीक्षा लेते हैं ये ये अच्छी जानकारी है जो गुरु आपको दीक्षा देता है पहले आप उसका नाम लगाते हैं और फिर बाद में आपका हाँ जी हाँ जी बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद धन्यवाद और चाय के लिए भी बहुत बहुत सर्दी में और गरम गरम चाय मिल जाएगा और भी क्या अगर और लेना चाहिए तो ले सकते हैं अभी बड़ों की कुछ बूंदे भी गिर रही है थैंक यू थैंक यू सभी को इनके जो टेस्ट चैनल है उनके माध्यम से नमस्ते मैं टाइम टेबल का वो शेयर करना चाहता हूँ जैसे की मोनेस्ट्री का तो कई लोग आते हैं कि यहाँ पर मंदिर बंद हो जाते फिर वो बिना दर्शन किए हुए वापस लौटना पड़ते हैं उनको और यहाँ पे दो टाइम टेबल है समर के और विंटर के विंटर में सुबह आठ बजे मंदिर खुलेंगे और शाम को पाँच बजे बंद हो जाएंगे और दिन को बारह बजे एक लंच ब्रेक होता है जो कि बारह से बारह चाली तक वही बंद रहेंगे उसके बाद समर के जो है वो सुबह सात बजे खुलेंगे समर में और शाम को सिक्स थर्टी तक खुले रहेंगे नाउ टाइम टू मूव टूवर्ड्स आर नेक्स्ट डेस्टिनेशन इट वॉज रियली अमेजिंग यू शुड प्लान अ विजिट टू यू नो दिस वैली एंड मेक श्योर यू स्पेंड सम टाइम हियर एट दूनिवर्सिटी एंड वन गुड थिंग अबाउट दिस मोनिस्ट्री विच आई लाइक वॉज I met one of the lamas, and uh, I was fortunate enough, uh, you know, where uh, I could ask him lot of questions, and uh, he also obliged and answered lot of uh, queries that I had, and I really, uh, you know, enjoyed uh, listening to him. You know, when I spoke to the lama and said, "You have given us enough time," and you know, what he replied was, "Dharm se pehle insaan aata hai." I'm indeed uh, touched with this, and. Uh, Really spending some time here, uh, you know, before I head to the next uh, destination, which will be the Kibar Village and the uh, Chicham Bridge. So stay tuned with me. The distance from Ki Monastery to Kibar is around seven kilometers. 
just look at the steepness of these mountains on which we are traveling. We are now entering Kibar. Kibar is the last spitty outpost before Ladakh. Kibar has a beautiful monastery and a wildlife sanctuary. The monastery is located in such a serene and a peaceful location that even Dalai Lama has expressed a wish to retire in Kibar someday. It is a large village as you can see and it houses around 90 plus families. The clean atmosphere and clear skies at Kibar is a treat for star watchers and photographers. Kibar has Tibetan style homes with stone and adobe bricks. The locals of Kibar mainly depend on agriculture, weaving, animal husbandry and tourism for their livelihood. Let's move now towards the Chicham Bridge. In these villages you literally get the feeling that even though there are houses, but the village is literally deserted. There is no one around that you see. It is also very cold at the moment. From Kibber to Chicham Bridge is around 3 kilometers. Looks like the weather is changing and it may rain. On the way to the Chicham Bridge, we found some people here tilling the land and that looked like a yak to me. This yak is not While tilling the land the way the farmers are dressed, you can take a wild guess how cold and windy it must be now. Look at these yaks now. You are literally on top of the cliff where you can see the other cliffs around. See how beautiful the Chicham bridge looks from here. How deep the gorges are. Oof. See the deep gorges once again, that's the majestic Chicham Bridge, the highest bridge in Asia. It's one of the most spectacular bridges in the world. We are now going to cross the Chicham Bridge which was constructed over a course of 15 years. Right below us is the gorge which is a whopping thousand feet down. This bridge has recently become quite a rage with the travelers. This was the youngest traveler that I have met so far. I am standing across the Asia's tallest suspension bridge, which is the Chicham Bridge. I am also standing at an altitude of 13,596 feet. Yes, 13,596 feet. This was inaugurated in 2017 and this is the beautiful suspension bridge. See the gorge which is 1000 feet deep doesn't look like from here. It costed a whopping 485.5 lakh rupees to get the bridge constructed. This gorge is indeed beautiful and also for the first time I am seeing such a deep gorge. Looks like it may rain any moment. Hats off to the engineering team. Time to head back. People are really enjoying their time here. I met one of the Lamas and uh, I was fortunate enough, uh, you know, where uh, I could ask him a lot of questions and uh, he also obliged and answered a lot of uh, queries that I had and I really, uh, you know, enjoyed uh, listening to him. You know, when I spoke to the Lama and said, you have given us enough time and you know, what he replied was, dharm se pehle insaan aata hai. I'm indeed uh, touched with this, stay tuned with me. Thank you for watching this video. I do hope that you have enjoyed this journey with me. Please do subscribe and share the link with others. In my next episode, we will be traveling towards uh, Kalpa. Stay tuned. Bye for now. This is Rakesh Jain. Thank you.